Hello. Oh, hello for anyone who just saw that. We are having uh, major technical <laughs> difficulties. Oh, so I'm trying out this new software here and I was trying to get my dad on so we could both be on live. And then if you heard what just happened, that was him on the phone and it looping. Uh, so it was a bad sound. But um, I, I'm just going to wait a minute and see if anyone pops on and make sure that this is working because I've never used this software, like I said. Um, so just bear with me on these technical difficulties. Um, so basically what Greg and I were going to talk about today, which I will uh, talk about on my own now, is should you be marketing right now? And if you should be marketing, what should you be doing? Um, I'm also going to throw this up on the screen. If anyone wants to join me, they can go to this link. And I'd love to hear from anyone uh, how you're doing, how your business is doing. Um, specifically, I would love to hear some successful things that you are doing in your business um, that is working right now in these crazy weird times. So um, I'm just going to keep this on if anyone wants to hop on. Greg wasn't able to join me, but maybe you can. Um, so should you be marketing right now? The quick answer is yes. Um, no matter what uh, industry you are in, no matter if you are shut down completely or operating or your location is open or your location is closed, you should be marketing right now. Um, I see Matt DeRyan 100%. Matt DeRyan is a marketing guru. So of course, um, I'm glad to hear you. Basically, what I've seen, I've seen both ends of the spectrum so far in how business owners are handling uh, this pandemic. So I've seen one end where I have owners, I have clients who, you know, maybe they aren't completely thriving right now. They aren't hitting their exact numbers, but they are still producing. They are marketing. One of my clients actually amped up their marketing right now. Um, they might not be getting as much new, uh, new customers, but they're still able to service their, uh, their current customer base. And then I've seen the other end, someone in the same industry who But at the same time, I truly believe that there is something you can always do to overcome what's going on, no matter what it is, no matter if it's this pandemic, no matter if it's, um, you know, I was talking to someone today about Hurricane Irma. If anyone um, in the Clearwater area remembers Irma a couple years ago, that was almost a worse situation than right now because we, some of us didn't have electricity. It was hard to get gas. But you know, I was still going to work. I still had a job to do and I still figured out how to do that job. Um, so basically what I really want to convey is just look at what you can do. Um, and there is two ends of, of this spectrum. There are the people who can be operating and there are some people like my barbers out there who can't, they can't cut hair right now. So what can you be doing in the meantime? I understand you have no income coming in. You can't go to people's houses to cut hair. Um, but what could you be doing? You could still be communicating with your customers. Go reach out to every single one of your customers personally. Send them a Facebook message. See how they're doing. See if they need help. Maybe um, maybe it's an older uh, person who can't go out and get their own groceries and you like go and get them groceries or you have extra toilet paper and one of your customers cannot find toilet paper. I almost was in that position myself and you can go out and get toilet paper and just 
go help people in any way you can. And maybe that's not a money making thing, but it is going to pay off for you down the road. They're going to remember that if someone else tries to come and cut their hair, they're going to be like, oh, that guy is my barber. He helps me out. He's a great person. You will, uh, you will create loyal customers in this time if you're doing things like that. Um, and then figure out what money making things you can be doing. Um, you know, maybe you make masks, go buy some cloth and make masks and sell them on the cheap, but at least you're helping people and making a little bit of money for your family. Just instead of feeling down and dejected, which I know it's so easy to do right now, um, just try to change your mindset a little bit of what can I do? What can I control? Um, one thing that um, Greg was going to go over that I will go over, but I can't, um, you know, this was this is a thing that he talks about. It's not my thing is take a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle. I'm just going to close this. I have myself on the screen over here and it's terrible. <laughs> so take a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle. Now on one side, write down all the things that you can't control right now. Okay, you can't control the toilet paper shortage. You can't control not being able to go to someone's house or hold your event that you are going to hold or whatever it may be. Now on the other side, start writing down what you can control. So maybe you can't go to someone's house, but you are now able to transition your service to Zoom. What could you transition to Zoom? Maybe you can't cut hair, but you can start um, teaching other barbers tips and tricks through Zoom and hold a workshop. Just start thinking, uh, just, you know, get, get your creative juices flowing and see what you can do. So make these lists, what you can and what you can't control. And you might find that what you can control is actually more than what you thought you could. Or as you're making that list, you might realize one of those things you thought you couldn't control, you actually can control. Now, if you are someone who is able to be open in any capacity, maybe um, a restaurant where you can't obviously have people in your store, but you can still be delivering, or there are many chiropractors or dentists who can still see patients for emergencies, um, Oh my gosh, chiropractors and dentists, you guys, there's no competition for you right now. There are so many people in your industry who have just given up and totally closed their doors right now, but there are still people who need your services. Just because there's a pandemic doesn't mean someone with chronic back pain doesn't need to come see you or someone might need an emergency root canal. So just think about that and think about how you can be open for those people who still need you and make sure that you're communicating to your customer base that you are there for them if they need you. Anyone you have on your email list, you should be sending out emails to them. You could go reach out to your top 10% favorite customers and just see how they're doing. Right now, no matter what situation you're in, you need to be communicating with your customer base more than ever. They need to know that you're there for them, even if you can't deliver your exact service or product at this time. So really, the advice goes for both sides, whether you can be open or not. Um, and the last thing that I'm going to leave you with is stop looking at the news, please. <laughs> It's great to be informed on what's happening and, you know, knowing when you can go outside again or what the regulations in your area are and for your business. But watching the news and the, it's mostly negative and that's not really going to feed you or help you in any way. It really isn't. There's no reason for you to know that this person died or this many more cases happened. It doesn't help or benefit you in any way. There are so many good news networks that are popping up more than ever now. I already followed some before this, but now I'm following even more. Um, there's even a, 
an Instagram account, coronavirus good news, and they post only happy things coming out of this, people helping each other and how many cases have been cured and or recovered so far. So, um, you know, if you're intaking a lot of negative things, then it's going to make you feel negative. So go find some positivity. And even if you don't feel like receiving that positivity right now, and you think you don't want it or need it, just try it. Just go watch something funny. Go, go YouTube some like puppies playing or like a turtle becoming best friends with a coyote or I don't know, just go find something happy. And then after that, make a list of the things that you can and can't control. And I think that you're going to start feeling something turn around. And that's pretty much all I have for you. So um, if you're watching the replay of this, comment below. I'll still be re- responding to comments. But I want to hear how you guys are doing. How How is your business? How is this impacting you? I would love to hear success stories of maybe some good things that have has come about or things that you maybe had to change Uh, because of the pandemic, but you're seeing some results from it. Because I think um, this is a time when we can all be helping each other. So if you share the things you're doing that are successful, others can learn and be inspired by that. So please comment and let us know what you're doing. And then hopefully next time I can figure out this new software and we can get Greg or Neil on here uh, and we can all have a chat. Um, But until then, I'll see you next time.